96 and 103 FM. And now, one of our most requested wind-ups ever. It's Mr. McCarthy, the Poodle, and the Chimney Sweep. I think it explains for itself. Yeah. Could I have Mr. McCarthy, please? Speaking. Mr. McCarthy, my name is Joe Spillane. I'm a Chimney Sweep. I I'm working on your neighbour's house there, the O'Sullivan's. That's right, yeah. At, at the moment, yeah. They might have told you they were getting the job done, did they? No, I didn't hear, no. You didn't hear, okay. Um, I have a small problem. I, I'm not quite sure how to explain this to you, Mr. McCarthy. Uh, Could you speak up small, please? I'm on site here. Oh, I see. All right. I'll tell you what I did. I went in and, and I sealed up there two fireplaces, one in the, in, in the kitchen dining room and one in the sitting room itself. Uh, we sealed them up with sealing bags, you know, for, for sweeping the chimney. What concern of that is mine? Well, i tell you what happened. We had a problem getting up about two feet past the flue, so I had to go on the roof and, and sweep them down. Now, normally in a semi-detached house, the two left and two right chimneys serve the houses on the left and right respectively. So I didn't have any problems. I, I swept the two on the left uh, very effectively. I thought they, they, they cleared right down to the flue. However, in the case of your houses, for some reason, we have the front and back ones serving each house, if you know what I mean. So when I went back into the O'Sullivan's and went into their sitting room and un unsealed the fire, I, I was very surprised not to find any soot there. Certainly not enough that I would have swept down, you know. So whatever thought struck me, anyway, I went next door and peeped in your window. My window? Yeah, lovely curtains, by the way. Where, 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 where did you get those curtains? The, the, the what, 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 do you, what do you want about? What, what game are you up to? There's a lovely cut to the curtains. Did you get them in town? Was it, was it Murray's or somewhere you got them? The what, what, what is this all oh, about? Oh, sorry, okay, just to finish the story. What? I ran around anyway and peeped in your sitting room, and I'm, I'm afraid that with, with the configuration of the chimneys on the roof, it, it, was, it was one of yours that I swept. Now, uh, your sitting room seems to be covered in, in, in a light covering of soot. What? That's, that's what seems to have happened by mistake, you know? What kind of a are you? Who did you say you were again? My name is Joe Spillane. I'm, I'm from where? Well, I'm, I'm kind of a freelance chim chimney sweep. Freelance chimney sweep. Are you the guy that was around there four times ago in a van looking for business? Well, we would have canvassed, yeah. I have a couple of young fellows going around I canvassing. told you I had no interest whatsoever in giving you any business. I know, I understand that. Uh, that, that that's your right, certainly, Mr. McCarthy. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, where do you live? Or, 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 what, what, what company do you represent? Well, I'm from the city, and I, I was canvassing, and your next-door neighbours uh, said they hadn't had theirs done for years, so they, they said they'd go ahead with it. How long since yours were swept, incidentally? <laughs> How long since this is swept? Just listen here to me now, and listen here to me very carefully. Have you got any insurance and stuff like this? No, um, well... What? No, well, but I'm, I'm quite prepared to go next door now and, cl and clean everything up. It will be good as new once, once I get it. Oh, it, Christ! You have, you have destroyed my front room? And uh, do you realize, Are you telling me the truth? Oh, ab absolutely. I'm just wondering, is, is there... I know you're on the road on site somewhere. Is, is, is there somewhere I, I could meet you and get a key, maybe? If, if, if I f*** meet you, if you're after doing this, you'll be having your next if, 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 if meal through a tube. I beg your pardon? I said you'll be having your next meal through a tube. This is disgrace altogether. Tell me, well, have you got insurance, I asked you? I don't have insurance, but I, I, I'm quite prepared to make good any damage, you see. But, um, my, my dear man, uh, do you realise that I have uh, a white standard poodle, a uh, uh, prize-winning dog, uh, inside my house? Is, 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 how have you seen the dog? Uh, the dog is around, all right. He, he's a very nice, kind of quiet dog. He didn't even bark when I came to the he's window. A white poodle, that, 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 I suppose he's, he, he's destroyed now, as well, and he's my wife's pride and joy, as you know, we've no, we've no family. Well... This is disgraceful. Well, if, if I, I, I must meet you immediately. If he's grey or, or, or black, sure, we, I, I'll get him washed for you. But I, I, I guarantee you now, is your wife working? My wife is not working. She's with her mother. and She, she goes to her mother every morning and then she be, looks after her mother. Her mother is invalided. Why should I be telling you these things? I and want to f***ing know now exactly what have you done to my house. And uh, when are you expecting the old tart back? <laughs> I said, when are you expecting your wife back? Did you say something else apart from that? No, it must be interference on the phone, I'd say, Mr. McCarthy. W when are you expecting her back, do you think? She won't be back until t t t late this evening. I pick her up in her mother's house. Could you f explain to me exactly what have you done to my house? Well, a as I say, it was a mistake on the roof. I had a problem getting up, so I had to go up on the roof and, and brush down. I, I seem to have brushed... Brush the down? If you're cleaning a chimney, you brush up. You put the... T you t you a fool of f***ing... What are you? You put the, 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 the brushes up through from the, 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 the fireplace up. You push... The I mean, good Christ, man, you're all retarded or something, are you? Well, well, well I, I, I tried that, you see, Donkey Bot, but it, it didn't Pardon? seem, it didn't seem to work. You're calling me names. I, 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 can I meet you? Where, where, where can I contact you? It's called Broadcasting House. Hey. This is Mick Mulcahy. You're on Cork's Big Breakfast, Mr. McCarthy. Your friend John asked me to uh, give you a call. Oh, and you.
Have you heard the wind-ups? Oh, I've, yes, I have. Yes, apparently I've heard something about somebody in a farm or something about, I heard one morning there about some woman that had cattle and animals or something. And you were a b****, if there was ever one. Do you, do you remember I what, what you said to John, me. Mr. McCarthy? Pardon? Do you remember what you said to John? I that, don't really know. That, that's so-and-so. I won't mention the words. would never catch me. Yes. Look, well, well, this, is, this is a load of bullshit that you've been giving me about my front room, is it? All in good fun. Oh, thanks be to God, because we just bought a new three-piece suite out in, in good value furniture there last week. And my, oh, Jesus, my poor dog as well. Yeah. My wife would have a, a stroke. You're an awful <laughs> bitch. Well, will, will you take it in good fun, then, as it was meant? <laughs> yes, I suppose I will, but I can tell you, John will have to buy me copious amounts of pints to make up for this, <laughs> because my blood pressure is very high. Mr. McCarthy, you've been a good sport, and we'll say good morning to you. Thanks a million.